Tonight, a fresh start for the Nationals, but can the Coalition get back on track? A stabbing, robbery and stolen cars, the terrifying crime spree that ended in this arrest. Violent pub fight ends in seven charged and a police officer attacked. The humble hero who helped save a tourist's life at Crystal Creek. And why the new Townsville 3 RAR welcomes its new toys. This is Nine News North Queensland. Good evening. Barnaby Joyce may be on the back bench, but the scandal surrounding the fallout from his affair continues to boil. Backslapping surrounded the new Nationals leader, who has his work cut out for him to put the bitterness on the back burner. Barnaby Joyce with support to the end. A man is facing multiple charges following a violent crime spree across Townsville. One man was stabbed and a young woman was pulled from her vehicle during the alleged rampage. Defeated, a crime rampage that terrorised Townsville residents comes to a dramatic end. A 28-year-old Kelso man arrested after allegedly stealing several vehicles across the city, stabbing one man in his home and stealing his car before taking off again. The offender was... The 28-year-old appeared in the Townsville Magistrates Court today, while police say investigations are continuing. Hannah Katatis, Nine News. A police officer was allegedly assaulted during a large disturbance in North Ward on Friday night. Officers were called after a dispute broke out between about seven men at Hotel Allen. Police say alcohol fueled violence will not be tolerated. A volunteer firefighter has been hailed a hero after risking his own life to rescue a woman swept away by fast flowing water at a popular swimming spot. Corey Hatton drove into the treacherous Crystal Creek to give the 21 year old tourist life saving CPR. Paradise Waterhole on Saturday afternoon. The treacherous weather also marooned Deerigan residents as Saunders Creek broke its banks. They're blaming council for allowing new developments in the area. It's just a combination of all the, you know, using it as a drain and it's not a drain, it's a little old creek. It has never flooded on a two and a half metre high tide. So there's something really wrong going around here. I don't think any sort of drainage solution would have alleviated the problem. Philip Calder. Nine News. It was the end of an era and a new beginning at Laverick today as three RAR was handed the keys to 29 armoured personnel carriers. It's the first time in the regiment's 70 years it's been mechanised and the troops can't wait to try out their toys. After seven decades of boots on the ground, three RAR is ready to roll out. Let's take a quick look at the price of fuel in Townsville, $1.39.2. A woman and her young children have been tied up in a terrifying home robbery. Two men with knives broke into the family's property, slashing the mother with a knife. A weapon so powerful it could stop a tank is one of nearly 900 illegal firearms seized and destroyed by police during a three-week operation. Queensland's top cop admits the problem is huge. Criminals even breaking into farming properties to steal licensed guns. Queensland could be set to host another Hollywood blockbuster. Rob Morrison joins us with the exclusive details. Rob, what's the film? Sam, we've already seen some of the biggest superhero movies in the world filmed right here. Think Thor, think Aquaman. But to parents everywhere, this could be the biggest hero yet. Goes Paul, we'll have to wait and see. Thanks, Rob. Nine News reporter Rob Morrison there. Nicole's in now with a quick look at the weather. Thank you, Paul. Our days of significant rainfall in Queensland aren't over yet. More showers are developing up the coast tomorrow with a couple of troughs in the east. By late Wednesday, we'll have the heaviest falls. Meanwhile, a southerly picking up late tonight will bring some cooler temperatures. The top end will have increasing showers as well throughout this week. Tomorrow's heaviest showers will be about North Queensland and Mackay. The top ends west will receive less than 10 millimetres in this week's full local forecast. I'll let you know how much rain is on the way. I'll see you again very soon. Thanks, Nicole. Look forward to it. When our news returns, homes and businesses evacuated as a convenience store explodes into flames.
We reveal the five reasons you're not losing weight and what you can do to shed the extra kilos. The socialite and the Prime Minister wartime secrets revealed. And an exclusive first look at the high-tech new weapon keeping our borders safe. <laughs> to lose those last few kilos, meet the dietitian who claims to have the answer to your weight loss woes. Say goodbye to tasteless smoothies, how you can slim down without having to cut back. We bust the biggest diet myths, that special health report coming up a bit later. Next in Nine News... A schoolgirl rescued after a long night lost in the bush. A stationary order like no other. You'll never guess what was hiding 300 kilograms of drugs. A health kick for supermarkets, why they're failing Aussie families. And what links Winston Churchill and the model Cara Delevingne. The Nine News app is... Up next, hand luggage bursts into flames. What sparked this sky-high emergency? Patients throwing chairs at medical staff. A shocking video that's exposed hospital chaos. And the five things holding you back from losing those extra kilos. It's Day Massacre. Paul Murphy joins us now with Sport and Murph. There are changes at the Titans. PT, they most certainly are. They've named their skipper. But will the top man be able to handle his expanding role? Plus, the Red Super Rugby campaign takes a major hit. Aussie coach Darren Lehman fires up one of his test stars. And Tiger ruffles a few feathers at the Honda Classic. For all the breaking news, download the free Nine News app. The Titans have diffed their co-captain policy, instead placing all their faith in Ryan James to lead the club out of the Anarell Abyss. But the Gold Coast skipper will have to juggle the role with a more important duty. Fortunately, walked away uninjured on the eighth hole. The Blackhawks insist they're not going into the season undercooked after their second and final trial against the Northern Pride was washed out. Despite the downpour, players on both sides remained in good spirits. However, it means Townsville will head into round one of the Queensland Cup against the Pride on March 24, having played only one pre-season match against the Capras. The Blackhawks under-18s did get to complete their trial match early in the day, going down by four points to their Northern neighbours. The under-20s were up six nil in their fixture before the game was abandoned 25 minutes in. Philip Calder, Nine News. And a job well done. That wraps up the night in sport. Coming up next, Nicole will be along with all of your local weather details. Good evening and happy Monday. It's been a gloomy start to the week in Townsville. And before showers rolled in late this afternoon, it felt very humid through the day with a top of 32 degrees. We've had showers across the region this afternoon. The heaviest falls in the north around Alva Beach, tops of 32 degrees along the northern coastal fringe and in Charters Towers, a little bit cooler further south. I wouldn't blame you if this afternoon showers felt like deja vu. This is our rainfall from the the past week, more than 160 millimetres in Townsville. Yesterday was the wettest day of the month so far. We had just over 43 millimetres and 218 in the gauges in Alva Beach in the past week. And more is on the way. Let's take a look at the chart. More light coastal showers are on the way for Queensland South, thanks for, to an onshore wind flow that's also driving our temperatures down. Now, for us, a trough in the north will generate more showers and storms, and that same trough is stretching along the base of the top end, delivering some showers there. Warm winds are pushing up from the south, pushing those temperatures in our interior a little bit warmer. Interstate, it'll be sunny in Melbourne tomorrow with a top of 30 degrees. Adelaide warm and sunny with 35, cooling down a bit in Perth and partly cloudy, topping out at 24. Broome partly cloudy with 31. Storms on the way in Darwin, reaching 32. In our capital city tomorrow, a possible early shower with a cooler top of 28 degrees. Now wet weather is continuing for our region this week up to 24
five millimetres for Townsville's south tomorrow. Slightly lighter falls in Ingham and Inland. Tops of 31 degrees in Air and Bowen. Charters Towers topping out at 32. Moving offshore now, northeasterly winds will reach 20 knots tomorrow with seas to a metre. Our morning high tide is due just before 7.30. Townsville will have possible showers tomorrow with a possible storm as well uh, and strong winds from the early afternoon. It'll remain warm though with a top of 32 degrees. It'll cool down into the middle of the week with our rainfall increasing. By Friday we could get up to 100 millimetres in a day, topping out at 31 degrees. The chance of storms continuing into the end of the week Sam and Paul, we probably won't exceed our average rainfall this month, but there are more steady falls on the way. Thanks, Nicole. Theme park operator Ardent Leisure is expecting to trade profitably in the second half of the year as attendance improves at Dreamworld. The company posted a first half loss of $13 million. That's a noticeable improvement on a $49 million loss from the same period a year ago. Checking finance now and the share market has closed up, the all odds 40 points higher. Our dollar's buying 78.84 US. Say goodbye to fad diets. There could be a simpler way to lose weight for good. One dietitian's busting the diet myths to find the right foods that'll work for your body. Dolce & Gabbana has proved it really is a high-end fashion house. Drones carrying handbags down the runway in Milan. Those drones are all the buzz, Sam. Oh, they are. Thank you, Paul. That's nine news for, for tonight. Thanks for joining us. From all the team, good night. Good night.